Hi, in this video we're going to be going over some Windows 11 troubleshooting options and recovery options. So I'm going to be going over items that you could use if you could get into Windows, then also if you can't get into Windows. And then one thing I want to mention first is depending on when you're watching this and what build of Windows you're having, you know, some of these options might not be exactly the same because Microsoft likes to change things around and move things and add things and remove things. So um, just keep that in mind when watching this video. Okay, so first we're going to go over some of the things you could do from within Windows if you're having certain kind of problems. So to do so, you want to go to your settings. And then under system, you will find two options here. There's troubleshooting and then there's recovery. So for troubleshooting, this is where you could go to run various troubleshooters. And one thing you notice here is sometimes Microsoft will run a troubleshooter for you if it detects a problem. So you have your options as to if you want it to ask you before running not to run it or to run it automatically. Default is to ask. And then if you have been using some troubleshooter tools in the past, you could see your history, which I don't have on this. And then if you go to other troubleshooters, you'll see there's some uh, various troubleshooters you could run here based on your problem. And then Microsoft also has another tool that you could download for uh, troubleshooting things such as Microsoft Office and Skype and teams and that kind of thing so it's more specific to their software rather than to windows itself so we have a video on that if you want to check out how to use that so let's say you have any problem with a network adapter click on run it's going to do a little scan there then it's going to ask you uh you know certain questions based on the tool you're running so let's say um i'm not sure which adapter it is so i'll click on next it's going to run a diagnostics and then it'll give you another question. Let's say you're know, trying to reach a specific website or folder on the network, and then you could fill in, you know, some details there and have it take out, you know, take it from there. So let's see, let's see another one. Let's say um, my Windows update isn't working. Okay, so here's what I found here: troubleshooters made some changes to your system. Try attempting a task you were trying to do before, and check for Windows update issues detected. Did we fix the problem? If we say no. Sometimes it'll go on to the next step, and then if not, then you're pretty much out of luck on that. You could view information. So, like I said, depending on the tool, you're going to have different results. So that's the uh, troubleshooter. So let's go back to system here. And then let's go to recovery, because this is probably more what you're looking for. Um, so you have some options here, such as reset this PC. We're going to do this last, where it'll kind of wipe your computer and leave your personal files and reinstall Windows so it'll get rid of your software. And then you have the problems with uh, fix problems without resetting your PC. So if we click on that, we get back to the troubleshooters. And then there's the advanced startup. So this is what you could do with your bootable Windows DVD or flash drive if you can't get into Windows. But if you're in Windows, you could run it from here without needing that disk or flash drive. So if we click on restart now, it'll take us into that troubleshooter. Okay, so once you're in the troubleshooter here, you'll have a few different options. So if you just want to get out of it and continue back in Windows, you could do that. If you want to turn off your computer, you could do that. And here's, let's say you have some kind of uh, third-party tools on a flash drive or something that you want to load. You could click on that and then pick your device from here and, and boot to it and see if you could run your tools from there. But most people are going to go to this troubleshooting option here. So here's the reset PC. This is the same thing we just saw in Windows where it'll reinstall Windows. And then advanced options. So startup repair, so if your computer is not starting up, you could try running this and see if it could fix it. But in my case, since it is working, it's not going to find anything wrong, but we'll show you kind of what it does. So it says it couldn't, couldn't find any problems, so you could just have it turn off your computer or go back to advanced options here. And then, so now we could go back to this troubleshooting section again and advanced. And then startup settings. So if you want to go into safe mode or low, you know, get rid of the low resolution video mode, 
and that kind of thing. You could do this and click on restart. And so then once you're here, you just need to pick a um, mode on your keyboard, you know. So let's say we want to go into safe mode, we press four. So now we'll log into Windows. We could see it's got that safe mode look with the black background and it says safe mode in the corners. And so then once you're here, you could do your, you know, your normal troubleshooting that you normally do in safe mode. You know, maybe run the MS config or, or that kind of thing. So, okay, so that's safe mode. So now we need to go back into our settings here. And back to troubleshoot. Nope, not, not troubleshoot. Back to recovery. And I'll go back and restart and go back into that menu again. Okay, so now we're back at the same screen. Back to troubleshoot. Advanced options. So we just did startup settings. So if you want to do command prompt, uh, just to run some commands, kind of the same as if you go into safe mode uh, with command prompt only. And if you have some updates that might be giving you a problem and you can't get into Windows to remove them, you can come here. And then you could uninstall updates from here. And this one, if you've got to change some of the UF UEFI, you know, BIOS settings, then you could use this one, but it's probably not going to be your problem, so I'm not going to go into that. And then if you use System Restore um, and have a restore point, you could click on this and run System Restore, except, you know, this computer doesn't have a restore point, so I don't know if, if you know how to turn on restore points or not. If you do, then you could use this. It seems like Windows doesn't like to have this enabled by default anymore for some reason, but you could still turn it on and have restore points created because it comes in handy when you have problems, especially if it's something with spyware and you need to just go back to a previous point. You could uh, do that from there. Okay, so that's pretty much your options from when you boot up, and you'll have these same options if you boot from your Windows DVD. So let me uh, mount that and show you how that works. So be back in a second here. Okay, so I got the DVD loaded in the drive there, and I press any key to boot from DVD. Okay, so this you know, looks like it's you're going to be doing a Windows installation, but you're not. So when you get to this Windows setup, you just want to click on Next, and then click on Repair Your Computer instead of Install Now. And then see, you get this the same menu that we just did by booting from within Windows to get to the, to the uh, recovery option. So, like I said, if you're in Windows and you have a problem, you could use that. Or if you can't get into Windows, insert your Windows 11 DVD and then boot to it and then get to these options. You could run the same thing from there. So we're just going to go back into Windows now since we're done with this. Okay, so one thing I wanted to show you real quick, since I'm mentioning the system restore, is how to uh, turn that on. So if you just kind of go into... Windows here, start typing System Restore, create a restore point. It's a control panel item. Okay, so once you're here, so it's turned off as you can see. So you want to click on configure, turn it on, and then it kind of gives you a suggested amount of space that it's going to use on your hard drive for restore points. So you could uh, turn that on, or, or actually it's not turn it off, but increase it if you want to, you know, if you have room to spare to store more restore points. And so restore points will be created, you know, when there's uh, some software will create it before it installs or when there's Windows updates, lots of times it'll create a restore point. And you could also come in here and do one manually if you want, just to kind of have a little security. So once you click on OK there, and now it's turned on. So let's say you have everything running perfectly and you want to make a restore point just in case you need to go back to it, just click on Create. And then you could add a name if you want. Perfect PC. Okay. So now that it's running, if you ever needed to come back here and you click on System Restore here, and it's going to check for Restored. And so right there, and then you could just uh, scan for effective programs which is used to see if there's going to be a problem with, you know, restoring this point is going to mess up any programs you installed after the fact. And if you know, if that works out okay or if you don't care, you can click on Next and then it'll reboot your, comp your computer and then bring you back to the state you were before 
you made the system restore. So now keep in mind, system restore is not going to, if you restore a restore point, it's not going to delete any files that were added after the restore point. It's just basic computer settings. So, so that's that. Okay, so one last thing we're going to do here. Back in the restore or recovery options is the reset this PC option. So we'll notice here that we have Chrome Road Desktop, Zoom, this file here. Let's see what happens after we reset it. Now remember, you could run this from the uh, Windows DVD when you boot to it as well. So if you want to keep your files or do you want to remove everything, so we're going to keep the files. And it's going to say, do you want to download from the cloud, which will give you the probably latest updates, or if you have uh, just use the, the files that are on your computer now, and this will kind of keep you at the same build level that you that you are what, or that you are at before you started this. So let's just do this for the sake of speed. Okay, we'll click on reset. So obviously it's going to take some time, so we'll be pausing the video so you don't have to sit here and watch it the whole time. Okay, so now the computer is rebooting. Okay, rebooting once again. Okay, rebooting once again. Okay, so now we're back at the login screen. Let's see what we got. So now it's going to go through this uh, Windows High getting things ready for you routine that it normally does if you add a new user to Windows or if you have a new Windows computer. So this takes a few more minutes. So it's pretty much acting like it's a new installation of Windows, which it technically is. Okay, so you can see we have our Windows desktop here, and we have the same info text file, so it kept the files there. I don't think I had any other files on this computer necessarily. Yeah, so it kept this document, Zoom folder in this documents, and it kept my downloads, so okay, so that's good. And you can see the resolution's not up to par there, so that have to be changed, but other than that, it's a clean installation of uh, Windows. All right, so once again, to summarize, if you go to your settings, and then your system, you have your troubleshooting options where you could run the troubleshooters within Windows. And then you also have your recovery options where you could do the reset this PC, which is what we just did. And you could also do this by booting to your Windows DVD or flash drive. And then you could do this advanced startup, which will restart your computer into the troubleshooting options for safe mode or command prompt and that kind of thing. And then, of course, clicking this will take you to the uh, troubleshooter again. All right, so hopefully this uh, made sense and gives you an idea of what you could do if you start having problems with Windows. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.